This is the 2025-2026 Winter Outlook from Steve Moore's Weather Station. So this winter continues to look as though this could be an above average snowfall year for millions of us in the north and especially over the eastern half of the United States, with a weak La Nina pattern continuing to hold through the winter and the easterly phasing quasi biennial oscillation or QBO. This will probably lead to a less stable polar vortex, allowing extreme cold outbreaks in the northern and eastern United States. Winters with similar atmospheric and oceanic conditions as we have in 2025 and 26 were the winters of 1989 and 90, 1993 and 94, 1996 and 97, 2000 and 2001, 2013 and 14, 2016 and 17, 2017 and 18. I bet if you were alive during these winters, you probably have a specific memory from one or more of these listed winters. Our temperatures look to be seasonal, with swings up and down throughout the winter here in the Ohio Valley. Now it looks as though over the next couple weeks, we're going to see temperatures significantly warmer than they were during the quick two-day cold snap that actually brought many of us our first inches of snow of the season. A band of three to five and a half inches of snow came right down from Lake Michigan across Fort Wayne, Dayton, and Wilmington, and points in and around there. In my house, we had a hair over five inches on the ground and about eight inches on elevated surfaces. The weather will make another turn as we close in on the 1st of December. With a trough digging down over the Great Lakes, this will start up something we haven't seen much of over the past few winters here in the eastern United States. The Alberta Clipper Express is going to get going as we get into December. This will probably bring us three to five inch snowfalls every five or six days. At some point, it will fade. But until then, the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley region, even the Mid-Atlantic, could get a fair amount of snow to pile up. Over this winter, we have above average precipitation over the northern third of the United States, then also over the Ohio Valley region. Blending all the long-range forecast models together, the United States snowfall predictions for the 2025-2026 season look as follows. Hundreds of inches of snow in the Rocky Mountains and in the Lake Effect snow belts. 35 to 50 inches of snow in the Northern Plains. 25 to 45 inches of snow in the Central Plains. The South Central Midwest looks to be getting a possible 3 to 18 inches of snow. Really, it just depends on exactly when the cold gets gets in your area and moisture. It really it's the two main factors it comes down to. The Ohio Valley looks to get somewhere between 22 and 30 inches. In the southeast, you folks look to get maybe 2 to 5 inches. The Gulf Coast will be lucky to see any snow this season. The northeast is expecting to see over 100 inches for places inland, with amounts decreasing the closer you get to shore. The Pacific Northwest looks to have hundreds of inches in the mountains, with amounts decreasing as elevation drops and the closer you get to the Pacific Coast. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Steve Moore's Weather Station. Stay tuned this winter for regular updates.